Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me, Annoying as Didi. And tonight, we are going to be doing a um, hair brushing routine, bedtime routine. So, my hair got wet in the shower. That's okay. It's about time for another hair wash. So, but when I'm in the shower, at the end of my shower, I like to like soak in some cold water right before I step out. And I like to wet my hair in the cold water. That thing that be underneath there. And I almost, I almost did not comb my hair. But I'm like, let me do it. Because I don't want the headache of having to comb out my hair when it's tangled. Ugh, that's the worst. And so much hair comes out. So, like, if I leave my hair uncombed more hair comes out than if I were to comb it out every day. You know what I'm saying? So if I gather all my hair, all my breakage that came out of my hair while combing it out throughout the week, if I put it all in one ball, it would be smaller compared to the breakage that I would get if I would not comb my hair for like a whole week and just left it up in a bun you know that hair it'll be so much more breakage coming through that way you know let me turn around I was just watching Celebrity Wife Swap and I was watching <laughs> Flavor Flav and Flavor Flav Wife Swap with Bill Snyder's wife, I think that's his name, Suzette. And she should have known something was up when he had that big ass X in front of the bedroom. <laughs> like, that's crazy. But I think all of these are old because now it's a new episode with Nishi Nash, Nisi Nash. And she's married to her husband, but now she's married to a woman. I don't know her name. So this was years ago. Well, I'm so happy I did this. Because look, I'm not going to be struggling. And my hair is not going to come out as much. That's probably the secret to thicker hair. Is combing it out every day and making sure it's not all tangled, you know.
And I think tonight I'm just going to put her in a simple twist. Okay guys, I think that is it. Um let me give her one more brush. And then I'm going to tie it down so it doesn't come undone. And that's it. That is it. And you know, my hair wasn't itching as much today. So I'm thinking brushing my hair twice a day is really, really, really beneficial. It has been so far. It's been really good to me. You know, moving things around. And putting them back in their own place. I guess it's like a bunch of library books in there. And they just need to be alphabetized and put in their own regimen, in their own genre, genre, <laughs> I guess. But I'm pretty happy with this. All right. So I'm going to um, put on some PJs and then um, probably gonna read a little bit. Um, let me show you the book that I read. I had read um, Full Figured. Um, I'm in the second story in this book, which is pretty good. This is a pretty good book. So what happened was, it's a set of twins, right? And then one is like um, a big time marketer, I think. I can't remember what her job position was. And then another one was a guidance counselor in, um, at a school. So what happened was the guidance counselor, her boyfriend was acting crazy. So she went to go link up with her sister to get away from the whole situation with her, her boyfriend. And then um, her sister was like, all right, we're going to go out. And then Norm, you know how you do like a makeover with your friend and stuff. So her sister and her sister's best friend did like a makeover for her and they all went out to like this VIP lounge or whatever and then um so the guidance counselor her name was Brittany and then the marketer was her name was Brooke so Brittany her sister Brooke was like you know you need to loosen up or have a fun and um go out and dance, have some drinks or whatever. So her sister finally gave in. She went on dance for it. She danced with one guy. And then there was this other guy who like caught her attention. And he told her her name, his name, his name was T. And he was drinking. And then he was like, you want to go back up to my room? And she was like, oh my gosh, I don't know. I want to, but in her head, she's like, I don't know. I want to, but I don't want to. And then she went to talk to her sister about it. And then her sister was like well do you want to do it and then she was like yeah i want to do it and then she went back to go find him right and she couldn't find him mind you they're twin sisters she couldn't find him so they're twin sisters right and um brooke i mean not brooke Brittany ends up going back home but you know brooke is a vip 
club member at this lounge. So she's there all the time. And then Brittany is always asking her, yo, did you see T? Did you see T? She's like, um, Brooke, she's like, Brooke, I think I need to come stay tonight so I can, you know, run into T again. And then Brooke is like, you know, he doesn't even live here. He, you know what I'm saying? He already said he was about to move there, but it wasn't for sure or whatever. So you never know if you're going to run into him again. So boom, Brooke goes to the lounge. And she, she kiki ki ended up with her friends. And then um, T comes over. He goes to her and he kisses her. And Brooke is not a kisser. Brooke is like a one night stand type of girl. And she wants to do what she wants She wants to do. And, you know, once she gets what she wants, she'll like up and go and do, you know, she'll leave that same night. You know what I'm saying? It's all in the book. You got to get the book. It's called Full Figured 14 by LaJill Hunt and LaToya Chandler. So T kisses her. And then she didn't even know, like, she's trying to remember where does she know him from. She doesn't even know this guy. But she's been that type of girl this whole time. She's trying to remember where did he come from. And he's kissing her. She's kissing him back. And her best friend is like, she's calling. She's like, Brooke, Brooke, Brooke. Because she knows Brooke doesn't kiss. So, um... They finally came up for air, and then her best friend asked him, yo, what's your name? And he was like, his name was Taurus. And I was like, oh my God. Like, the way that I heard his voice in my head and the way that I imagined him in my head, I'm just like, he sounds pretty hot. And then, um, so Brooke goes back to the place with him. She does her thing. She gets ready to go. And then he mentioned something about them meeting the other night. And then she put two and two together. And she was like, oh, this is T for my sister. Right? I was like, damn, son. But y'all yeah, got to go get the book to finish to see what happens. That was really good. I got to get to the next story. But that was really good. That was real interesting. Like, these are the type of books. When I used to travel from um, Orlando to Miami on a train, this is what I would read. I would get me, like, a good little $5, $6 book. I'm, something that I know I was going to finish reading on the train. Because it's like a five-hour ride from, from Orlando to Miami and back. So... I, I don't know. I just like these little books, these little five to ten dollar books. I got this from Walmart, and I got I think I got um, my last ones from Walmart too. So you gotta check that out in the drama section. That was really good. Um, yeah, it's called Full Figured Fourteen, La Jill Hunt and La Latoya Chandler. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. But anyways, I'm gonna get up out of here. Um, this was nice. I like I like this. I like doing this. This is pretty cool. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna go to sleep and I'm gonna sleep well, knowing that my hair is combed out and I'm not struggling. And I'm not gonna be struggling with my hair the next day or the next few days. Whew. This is a lot of weight off my shoulders. I just don't understand. And look, my waves is coming back. My waves though. But I'm finna go. I'm finna hold you up no more. So until next time, baby, it's annoying as Diddy. Peace, love, and shade. Butter, baby.